Hello, in first chapter we have learned about um, property space, uh, we defined property theorem and several concepts. In this chapter we will uh, extend the results into combined experiments. In the following chapters we will extend and expand this definition further. Uh, now we consider uh, two uh, experiments or three or four or repeated experiments. We want to know how we could generalize it. So this is the first step forward um, toward uh, generalization. Um, so um, uh, if we have two different property spaces, two different experiments, or if we repeat uh, one experiment several times, we want to know how to how to mathematically uh, address that. So we start with a, an example. Suppose that we have two, two property spaces. Uh, first one is rolling a, a fair coin and uh, the second experiment could be um, um, rolling a dice uh, and um, we want to know how to combine them. So for rolling a dice, uh, you have uh, uh, and L uh, is equal to set of numbers between 1 to 6, but for um, uh, coin you have either head and tail. Now, if you do these two experiments uh, together, so your possible outcome has two components. One uh, outcome of the dice, the other one is that. So your outcome, is it going to be equal to head and for instance one so this is one possible outcome or you could get head and two and so on so how many possible outcomes you have two times six twelve possible cases so for the first uh, property space um, if you assume that the dice is fair so you could have this property measure and then you use your sigma algebra as power set of uh, l1 for the second one you could Defined uh, the same thing provided that your coin is also a fair coin and and this one now How we could deal with the combined experiment? Uh, so you have 12 possible cases. So um, So each outcome uh, is either um, uh, Has two components So your outcome is uh, has uh, either a number uh, head or tail so you have C1 and then you have C2, and then your C1 is inside L1, and then your C2, which is your second outcome, is in L2. Okay, so this is your your new uh, combined experiment. Okay, so this is nothing more than to say that this is equal to the Cartesian product of L1 times L2. So by definition, Cartesian product of two sets is the set of pairs such that the first component of the pair is from L1 and the second one is from L2. And obviously you could, you could define F as 2 to the power of L, which is also um, um, uh, an extension of uh, that. So in, in that case, if you assume that the outcomes of this experiment and the outcome of this experiment are independent, that means that uh, the probability of any event from there times intersection is equal to the product of probability, then we could say that the probability of any elementary event from the, 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 the combined experiment is 1 over 12. So we need to, to combine these property spaces and how we do it is uh, use the Cartesian product. So my um, combined experiment, one possible outcome has two components. One component from the ice, another component from the coin. And um, obviously you know that the number of elements in L1 times L2 is equal to the number of elements in L1 times number of elements in L2. For instance, in this example, this is 6, this is 2, and then you get 12 um, possible outcomes. Uh, so if you have independent probability spaces, uh, and then consider for simplicity, you have L1 to the power of L1, this is a power set, P1. P1 is your probability measure over L1, and P2 is probability measure over these two guys. Then we can define 
the Cartesian pro product of this one and 2 to the power of this one and the probability measure P such that probability of any event like that is equal to that. So you can easily show that this uh, combined experiment uh, gives you all the properties of um, uh, probability measure. So, so this definition you could generalize it into n uh, different experiments uh, and different um, property spaces you could uh, uh, define um, the Cartesian pro product of these property spaces and, and use it in practice. And uh, this definition can be applied when you repeat uh, one trial uh, and extend it.